Hi there everyone, Neil here again. I've got a bit of a tutorial today. I've been searching all over the web and I can't find anywhere where somebody actually does a tutorial on how to do this. So uh, what I wanted to do was to show you guys how to reset your DVR's accounts so that if you've for maybe forgotten the password or if something went a bit flaky and the DVR stopped uh, ac accepting your, your, your password, you're able to actually um, reset your password uh, using the telnet command. So what I'm going to show you is uh, just how to telnet into your, your DVR uh, for your cameras and then how to reset the passwords within it. Um, what happened to mine a little while ago is I unplugged it because I had a quite a, a bad storm, a lightning storm, and I unplugged everything and when I plugged the DVR back in on the cameras and stuff, I, could, I couldn't access uh, the admin pages uh, because uh, for some reason I think the, uh, the the password went a bit flaky uh, something went corrupted or something and uh, I just never could get in so I needed to find a way to reset the passwords a lot of people told me you need to reset the password by taking the battery out uh, you know there's a little lithium battery that goes inside that uh, keeps the date and time and all that uh, I figured if I take the battery out it would work there's no dip switches or, or any um, jumpers or anything on the motherboard so I figured but just by taking the battery out it would work it didn't work it only reset the time but the corrupt password was still active on the, the device so I figured if I could tell it into the device I could have it done so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to show you guys how to tell it in and then uh, yeah take you through the steps of actually uh, resetting those passwords so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in to my device this is my IP address Okay, so this the the standard username and password for this is root, and the password is xc three five one one. Okay, so there you go. Logged into my DVR, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to get access to the uh, accounts files that actually has the accounts uh, listed and uh, that actually keeps the information for the passwords and stuff in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a list. Okay. I'm going to change the directory to mnt. I'm going to change to, oh, sorry. I'm going to list directories in here again. CD mtd. And if I do a list here, there's a config and a log. You uh, change directory to config. I'll do a list again. And then you'll see you have an account one file right there, top. Now, if you've added more accounts, um, it'll iterate from one to two to three to four, five, six, seven, how many ever accounts there are. So what you can do is you can just remove the account. So RM account one, press enter. I'm not going to press enter because I've already reset my passwords and stuff. So I'm not going to do that again. But what you do is you just remove the account, um, restart your DVR, log out of course first, restart your DVR, and uh, everything will be reset to the default settings again. So um, I hope this helps somebody. I really do. If you guys do find this helpful, please comment. Um, like or, or don't like, please just let me know. If you get any feedback, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers. Until next time, of course.